Dear students, this is second type of AC potentiometer, which is coordinate type AC potentiometer. We have already discussed about uh, polar type potentiometer, which is the first form of AC potentiometer. And the unknown voltage is measured in terms of magnitude, angle, theta. Next one is coordinate type potentiometer. Another name is Gold Tinsley coordinate type AC potentiometer. Gold Tinsley is the name of the scientist who discovered this potentiometer. And this is the circuit diagram of a coordinate type potentiometer. It consists of two potentiometers. One is in phase potentiometer. Second one is quadrature phase potentiometer. B B dash is the in phase. C C dash is the quadrature phase. Both are connected to a single phase supply. One is connected through the ammeter. And another one is connected through a inductive coil to the switch S3. This is the switch S3 is the tapping where we are applying the unknown EMF. This unknown EMF is applied between point A A dash. At this point you are applying the unknown EMF. This in phase potentiometer one end is connected to the vibrational galvanometer and another end is connected to switch the switch circuit not only to the switch circuit b b dash is also connected to vibrational galvanometer to the switch circuit the switch s1 is connected to s3 next is quadrature potentiometer which is c c dash which is connected to switch s2 and is again connected to s3 through the switch s2 Next about the working, the unknown EMF you have to apply in between point A8 dash using selector switch. The purpose of selector switch is to select the voltage tapping. So unknown voltage is applied between A8 dash. Next you have to adjust this potentiometer slide wire such that this calometer shows zero deflection. Adjust this in phase potentiometer and quadrature potentiometer so that the galvanometer shows zero deflection. I have already told you that this is coordinate type. Coordinate means it consists of two axes. So coordinate means it consists of two axes. X axis is A axis. X axis represent uh, the V cos phi component. V cos phi component. Phi I am representing it as theta. And Y axis represent V sin phi component. V cos phi and V sin phi. So what will be the total voltage? V equal to root of V sin phi square plus V cos phi square. Suppose V1 is equal to V cos phi and V2 equal to V sin phi. Therefore total voltage V equal to so total voltage V become or unknown EMF can be obtained as root of V1 square plus plus V2 square. So the unknown EMF V equal to root of V1 square plus V2 square. So we can obtain V as V1 square plus V2 square where V1 is the voltage obtained from in phase component that is V1 is V I cos V cos phi and V2 is the voltage obtained from quadrature component that is V sin phi. So total voltage is root of V1 square plus V2 square and how will you find the angle phase difference is obtained by tan inverse V2 by V1. Thank you.